Hi, my name is Saurabh and uh, I am a chief engineer and I have been sailing on tankers for the last 20 years. I am starting this series wherein I intend to take a topic and speak about it briefly. The idea, the idea behind this initiative is to help people and to help the younger generation of seafarers which are coming so that we can do something good and make this profession of ours great, right? So the topic which I have chosen for today is boiler mountings. See boiler mountings are the fittings which are provided on the boiler for the proper and safe functioning of the boilers. Without these mountings, the safe operation of the boiler would be a very difficult task. For example, a water level indicator, a safety valve, a pressure gauge, etc. So the first mounting we are going to talk about is the stop wall. The stop wall is provided on the boiler on the steam drum between the steam space and the steam supply line. This is essentially a screw down globe wall which helps to regulate the steam flow from the steam drum to the steam supply line. In case we have some maintenance to be carried out on the steam supply line, all we need to do is to close this steam stop wall and then we can carry out the maintenance. So it is also a tool which helps us to carry out the various maintenance on the steam supply line. Next mounting which we are going to talk about is a water level indicator which is also known as a gauge glass. It shows the level of water in the boiler at all times. It basically consists of a vertical tube of glass which is connected to the stream drum and the water drum of the boiler and it has a steam cock, a water cock and a drain cock. The steam cock and water cock can be closed again to carry out any maintenance of the gauge glass and a combination of these three cocks also helps to do a, to perform a procedure called the blow through of gauge glass which is an important thing and should be carried out every watch. Now as the steam is being used the level in the boiler the water level in the boiler goes down. So we need to supply more water to the boiler so that water level remains at a normal level. Now since the boiler is at high pressure we need to have high pressure pumps which can supply water to the water drum and this is this is facilitated by a few valves which are known as feed check valves. These valves are mostly automatically controlled. A signal comes from the water level indicator and periodically these valves open and close to allow the water to come into the boiler and maintain the level. The next is blow down walls. Normally the function of the blow down walls is to remove the sediments which are collected at the bottom of the boiler by periodically opening this wall and letting the water flow at high velocity taking along the sediments. Also this wall is used to empty out the boiler in case we need to carry out any maintenance, cleaning or we need to open it for inspection. So when we open this wall, the water which is under high steam pressure rushes out and it takes along all the sediments and the impurities along with it to the sea. Now we come to a very very important mounting which is known as a safety wall. See 
this is a pressurized machinery it works under high pressure and essentially it is like a bomb yeah you know so if we do not if we do not maintain the pressure inside the boiler or if we do not have a safety device which can help us in case of some mishap then we are inviting trouble so the safety valves are basically to release any excess pressure inside the boiler if it goes beyond the normal working pressure so in case the pressure goes below beyond the normal working pressure the safety valve opens it releases the excess excess steam and bring the steam pressure inside the boiler to the normal working pressure so this is a very very important mounting also we have easing gear provided on the boiler which is connected to the steam valve which allows us to periodically open the safety valves manually so as to make sure that they are not seized or they are not jammed because they have not been used for a long time so please keep in mind that make use of this easing gear and lift the safety valve manually at least once a week so that if the need arises the safety valves do work last but not the least we have a pressure gauge on the steam drum which as the name suggest shows the pressure of the steam inside the boiler the pressure gauges are normally based on bowden pressure gauge tube it is very essential that we maintain a normal working pressure inside the boiler and it gives us the first indication in case there is something wrong with the boiler so that this is it i hope you like what you heard i am open to comments please do comment and uh, let me know and uh, see you later thank you bye bye